chapter 19. Better is the poor that walketh in his integrity than he that is perverse in his lips and is a fool. Also, that the soul be without knowledge, it is not good. And he that hasteth with his feet sinneth. The foolishness of man perverteth his way, and his heart treateth against the Lord. Wealth maketh many friends, but the poor is separated from his neighbor. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall not escape. Many will entreat the favor of the prince, and every man is a friend to him that giveth gifts. All the brethren of the poor do hate him, but much more do his friends go far from him. He pursueth them with words, yet they are wanting to him. He that getteth wisdom loveth his own soul. He that keepeth understanding shall find good. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall perish. Delight is not seemly for a fool, much less for a servant to have rule over princes. The discretion of a man deferreth his anger, and it is his glory to pass over a transgression. The king's wrath is as the roaring of a lion, but his favor is as dew upon the grass. A foolish son is the calamity of his father, and the contentions of a wife are a continual dropping. House and riches are the inheritance of of fathers, and a prudent wife is from the Lord. Slothfulness casteth into a deep sleep, and an idle soul shall suffer hunger. He that keepeth the commandment keepeth his own soul, but he that despiseth his way shall die. He that hath pity upon the poor, lendeth unto the Lord, and that which he hath given will he pay him again. Chasten thy son while there is hope, and let not thy soul spare for his crying. A man of great wealth shall suffer punishment, for if Thou deliver him, yet thou must do it again. Hear counsel, and receive instruction, that thou mayest be wise in thy latter end. There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. The desire of a man is his kindness, and a poor man is better than a liar. The fear of the Lord tendeth to life, and he that hath it shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. A slothful man hideth his hand in his bosom, and will not so much as bring it to his mouth again. Smite a scorner, and... The simple will beware, and reprove one that has understanding, and he will understand knowledge. He that wasteth his father 
and chasteneth away his mother is a son that causes shame and bringeth reproach. Cease, my son, to hear the instruction that causeth to err from the words of knowledge. An ungodly witness scorneth judgment, and the mouth of the wicked devoureth iniquity. Judgments are prepared for scorners, and stripes for the back of fools. Verse 18 Chasten thy son while there is hope, and let not thy soul spare for his crying. This book of Proverbs reminded me in verse 4 and 6 that there are several kinds of friends. Pastor reminded us recently that most of us could count on one hand our good friends, those we can call any time we need something, need to talk, have had some devastating news, and we know they will be there for us, whether very late at night, early in the morning, or even when we need a loan desperately, or some advice, prayer. Yes, all of us have friends. These special ones, like Proverbs seventeen seven says, A friend loveth at all times. These are real friends. In Proverbs 18, 24, A man that has friends must show himself friendly. And there's a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. These are most of our friends. And as long as we keep in touch, they are friends. And then there are the friends like Proverbs 19.4 mentions. Wealth maketh many friends. Or 19.6 says, Every man is a friend to him that has that giveth gifts. These were known as fair-weather friends when I was growing up. When we had something they wanted, or we had money, they were our friends. Remember the prodigal son had friends until his money ran out. Jesus is and should be our best friend. He keeps our secrets. He always listens. And he never leaves or forsakes us. He loves us even with all of our faults. And he's always there when we need him. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for every one of our friends. But especially, we thank you for being our friend our very special, faithful, loving, and kind help for us in all kinds of situations all the time. We thank you that you give us good friends and we ask you to help us treasure every one of our friendships and to thank you for them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.